We've got the Orioles and the Blue Jays, and who would have thought at the start of the year that this would be an intense rivalry matchup because there is a lot on the line. The Blue Jays, they took both games of the doubleheader yesterday. But the Orioles, they have eight games going into tonight remaining against the Jays, so if they can start winning, then they could start taking away games from that wild card lead fast as it's going to be 1-0 early, and who but Bo Bichette. He had a three-homer game last night, and you might as well just walk him at this point because he hits another homer. That's going to be a two Two run shot. So the Jays are going to be up 3 0 early. It looked like Baltimore was in trouble, but not to fear because Adley Rushman, he is just an absolute stud so early. The catcher position, to get a catcher that can hit like this is just a plus, but he's going to be so good for so long to come. I think he'll easily be the best catcher in baseball in not too long. He's gotten comparisons to guys like Buster Posey. That's the level he's at coming up. But then Ryan Mountcastle, he's going to give the Orioles a lead. So a lot of runs here early, but the Orioles, there's no quitting them. They were down 3-0 after the fourth homer by Bichette in like the last 24 hours. Then they take the lead and now the benches are going to clear. There's some heated tensions in this big rivalry. The Orioles, they would build a lead and they would be able to hold it so they win this game. But tensions got heated. Blue Jays, they they were definitely not happy with the strike zone all game. Vladdy Teoscar Hernandez, he got to get hold. They had to get held back by Jorge Mateo as things were getting very heated. Ejections, Blue Jays manager ejected, and the Blue Jays just were not happy about the ump all game. And then it led to some overboiling tensions with the Orioles. Nonetheless, Orioles win this one. Things get a little heated.